Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, also known as Nicodemus. So in this video, I thought, um, well, I thought about having a bit of fun, basically. So I wondered, while I was making my breakfast this morning, which was banana porridge, if anybody was interested in that, uh, could I engrave a banana? Is it possible? So in this video, I'm going to put this into the muse uh, by full spectrum laser and, um, and and attempt to engrave it. I'm, I'm fairly confident that it will actually engrave um, but we shall see. Okay so we have a, a muse, we have a banana so let's try and engrave a banana. So I'm going to put that in the middle of the bed. Um, which side do I want? I'm going to use which side's better. I think I'll use this side. I'm going to prop up the banana to try and keep it flat with a piece of blue tack just to keep it reasonably flat in the bed. For the sake of my focusing billet. Put that on the top. Unlock the gantry. Come on. Yep. And one. Okay, so that is a bit too deep. Let's have a go at taking out the honeycomb. Let's see if that gives us what we need. Take that out. Let's put this down here. So that you do have a restriction on height on these things. Okay, so that goes over the banana now. Will the focus it? Oh yes, the focusing billet does fit underneath. Tighten that up, remove the focusing billet. We are now focused on the banana. Okay, let's close that down. And uh... okay, so we are in Retina Engrave on the PC. I've got the banana right under this dot. So let's um, capture the workspace. Do a height measurement, see if it'll actually do this. Okay, so it's got that. Let's continue with previewing the, the deck. And there is our banana, looking a bit weird, but uh, it is there. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to drag my logo onto here, but without the splash on it. Let's drag that down there, do a bit of resizing. Maybe something like that. I want to keep most of it on the banana. Let's make it a little bit smaller. that. I'm going to keep it all black. Um, now then, there's no power settings, I don't think, or estimated settings for a banana. Hmm. So let's keep it at full speed. Let's start slow and low. Let's do um, 20%. Okay. 20% and 100 and 150 DPI. Let me just quickly check the perimeter. So the perimeter looks good. I've also enabled the other camera, so let's start the engrave. And hopefully I don't end up with a mess.
appear to be working. It does seem quite faint though, so I might have to go over it again with a bit more power. Or just do a second pass on it maybe. With the same power. As, uh, as it's browning in it, let me move this gantry out of the way. I don't think that's too bad. I'm going to do a second pass. I'm going to do a second pass on that, I think. This is the same engraving at the same setting, so hopefully I'm not going to completely destroy the banana doing this over the top, but I'm hoping it will just uh, engrave over on where it's already engraved and just make it a little bit deeper. I think, <laughs> I think that has uh, has done pretty well. That is a Nico Props banana engraved on the Muse by Full Spectrum Laser. I suspect over time, uh, obviously, it's darkening up as the skin the skin uh, is damaged. So um, that is definitely uh, a good banana. I'm really pleased with that. Um, so I think I've just proved that we can uh, we can engrave a banana using the uh, Muse by Full Spectrum Laser. Um, this is the first Nico Props banana. Look at that in all its glory, and of course all. Uh, all Nico Props bananas are in fact fair trade, so uh, we obviously promote that. So uh, if you uh, if you want to subscribe, click here. For my other Muse videos, click here. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, goodbye from the banana and Nico Props. <laughs>